Uh, the princess then innocently followed you to Luca's little sideshow, whereupon you both disappeared. If that wasn't criminal abduction, I don't know what is. All right, well, flop open your lawyer books, guy, because that was, um, not, I would not call that abduction. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Chrono Trigger. I'm Mr. Red, your host, and uh, I just downed, <laughs> in anticipation of starting this episode, I just downed like half a can of Diet Coke, and uh, I feel like it's going to come back to haunt me in the burp sense of the terms. All right, I, I snuck past these guys before. I think I can just, I don't even think they, they care about me, although can I go up? I don't seem to be able to go up. Can I go up this way? No. All right, well, it's been fun. Uh, yeah, I don't know if this is the way, uh, back home. Whoa. Whoa. What the hell is this? Oh, it's a pulley? Have I fought one of these before? This thing- 99?! All right. None of that now. Let's do a fire whirl on it. And then you attack it too. Jesus! 99. That's ridiculous. This might do enough to- Yeah. Wow, 135. Yep, there's the burp. There's the burp. There we go, yeah. Okay, we're a good team. Now, uh, Marl, if you could do me a favor and just uh, level up, please. Just go ahead and uh, level up. Go ahead and level Yeah! Oh, Marl learned Aura. Oh, wait a second. She couldn't do it before. Oh, Aura Whirl. I learned a dual tech. Well, then what? I don't get it. Why was that there? Okay. If just now I learned two things, Aura and Aura Whirl, why was Aura grayed out like Provoke is now and Aura Whirl wasn't? Like that didn't exist. I'm assuming, my, my, my understanding is that, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Skill, 11 points, need 45. So I'm working on this. I'm gonna get this. This is my next thing to get. But then why did Aura, wh I mean, why did that not work with Aura Whirl? Like why why did that why wasn't that not gray and said skill? Maybe it's maybe it just doesn't do that with double or triple tech. It's confusing. It doesn't matter and it's confusing, so I'll ignore it. That's what I that's what I always do with things that confuse me. I ignore them and eventually I beat them up. Oh look, the portal, it's here. I was right. Awesome. Uh how do we get home? Like, how do we get home? Uh oh, she's gonna say that we are home. She I'm, I bet she's gonna say we are home. Your Highness, uh, Princess, we... Please, call me Marl. <laughs> well then, Marl, observe. Oh, now she's gonna jump in, huh? Whoa! Wow! Well, Luca, you're amazing. I, like, totally love you. Ain't it the truth? <laughs> I'm Patrick Luca Burton. Oh, um, I mean... Enough with the false modesty! You have a real gift. I would trade my royal ancestry for your genius in a heartbeat. All right. Well, if you say so. Yeah, I think I'd rather be smart than a princess, <laughs> if I do say so myself. Anyway, I call this thing a gate. I named it after my friend Bill. It's kind of portal that takes you to the same location in a different era. Gates are very unstable, so I use the principle behind my telepod device. To create a gate key. Now we can use them as we please. Okay, I never knew that this was an aspect of the game. Where you just, um... Where you can, like, hop between times. I thought, like... I, I, I knew there was a time travel thing, but I thought it was just you travel to the past and you're stuck there. Like a Back to the Future thing. And the whole thing was you gotta get home. Guess not, though. But why did this gate suddenly appear? Either the telepod had something to do with it, or something else made it. Like your pendant? This is getting pretty... Weird. Let's at least head back to our time. All right, come and grow now. No, I'm going to stay. No, I'm gonna stay. All right, I don't think that's a good idea. Whoa, it's Dr. Wilson. Hey, so when that warp is happening, show a screenshot of the warp. You can see the entire screen. Look at the bottom strip. It's filled in, right? But now, look at the bottom strip. It's black. Why? Is that how it was on the original SNES? Again, not that I'm playing this on an emulator. I am not. Phew. We're back. Uh, Chrono, Luca, why don't you come home with me to the castle? I'd like to have you over for dinner. Don't mind if I take a picture on Instagram at first, because I will. 
Sorry for putting you through all that, Marl. <laughs> kind of forgot what I sounded like. I'm also walking infinitely for some reason. I don't know why I'm doing this, but gotta get your exercise in, you know? Uh, are you joking? That was the most fun I've had in months. And I have some new friends, too. Grow up, be a gentleman, and take her home. I've got some work to do. Hey, you know what? I don't wanna. See you soon, Luca. See you soon, Luca. Will you escort me home, Chrono? So, uh, do you live at the castle then? If you're, you know, royalty, descended from royalty? If your father is whatever? I would assume she does, which is pretty cool. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh yeah, you can phase through the runners for some reason. Hey, this is nice. I like when it's not an infe war-torn infested countryside with imps and monsters. Oh, except I might still have to, you know what? Let's say before we go in here, just because, just, 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 just because you never know. I don't want to get got by anything. We're back. <laughs> nice. I love it. All right. So what's going to happen next? What's, what else is there in the store to tell? I mean, obviously stuff. My fiance Jody does this a lot where, um, whenever we're watching a show or like when we go see like a, a stage show or whatever, we'll always, oh, yikes. We'll always come back from like the second act and she'll be like, um, Oh, let's, okay, Aura Whirl, that restores allies. Okay, so I don't seem to have, I don't seem to have any, like, double stuff, Oreos. <laughs> um, oh, okay, I can do these two. Awesome. Well, then let's see how, mu how much, if there's any left. Oh, they're done, okay, good. Attack, no, attack, I said. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll come back from, like, the second act, she'll be like, I don't see why there needs to be a second act, what more story can be told? She does that with, like, TV shows, too. We'll finish a season and be like, why would there even be a season two? What else is there to tell? And we'll be in like season two of Breaking Bad or something. I'm like, Jody, <laughs> everything. Like the story's not over. Clearly there, like you can make more story. So I, I hate to do that, but it seems like the story of this game has ended. So obviously there's going to be more stuff, but I just don't know what it could be. That's what I'm saying. Uh, Princess Nadia. Oh, it's you. Oh, it's the chancellor. Surely not the same one, but I'm gonna give him the same voice anyway. Are you all right? Where have you been? <laughs> I heard you were abducted. We had soldiers searching for you. How'd you hear you were abducted? That was in the past. Scoundrel, you're the one, huh? Kidnap. Oh, he thinks it's me. Kidnapping Princess Nadia. No, no, Kronos. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Admit it. Do it. You confused her and she tried to take over the throne. What? Terrorist? What are you talking about? Stop it! What is... What the hell is going on? No, I didn't. <laughs> Stop this at once! Yeah, I should say so. Oh. No, no, they're bowing down. I'm burping again. What are you doing? But Princess... But Princess Nadia said to... Idiots, detain him. What the hell is going on right now? Chrono! Uh-oh, whoa, what's this now? What's this now? Is that the king? Is that the king? Oh, it was like, d d d king d dude the 33rd, remember? This is, whoa, this is bizarre. I am the chancellor, the prosecutor. <laughs> I'm the lawyer, Pierre. Okay, good to meet you, Pierre. Members of the court, we now bring forth the defendant, Chrono, who is charged with abducting the princess. This is a bad time to have to do this dialogue-heavy episode <laughs> with this guy's voice. I just recorded, um, I, I, let, let me count, actually, let me count. So I did, hold on, I just recorded seven episodes, this is my eighth one today, um, and I am haggard with the voice, so this is very funny. What shall we do with him? Fire, perhaps. <laughs> Hang him upside down for a few years. Or shall we employ the guillotine? This guy has it in for me, and I don't know why. What happened? So he thinks that I kidnapped the princess, even though the princess is back and fine and says that I didn't do it. But what, the chancellor thinks that she was tricked into thinking that? That's a long con. If I was able to kidnap her without the princess realizing it. Oh, well. You, the jury, shall decide his fate. Now let us begin. 
<laughs> Chrono, you are hereby ordered to tell the truth. Well, oh, I can't remember his voice already. Chrono is charged with premeditated abduction of royalty. The question is, did he kidnap Princess Nadia? The answer? No, he did not. In fact, no abduction took place. Okay, good. The two met completely by accident. In fact, the princess asked Chrono if she could join him. Great, well thanks, that cleared everything up then. Bye. Is this true? Who actually started this whole mess? Uh... Alright then. <laughs> I don't know what the answer here is because... Um... I, I think the idea is, do I sell out Marl or do I take the blame for it? And like, she's safe. But the other thing is that she's the princess and she's going to be fine. She can get away with a lot more than I, a nobody, can. So I feel like throwing her the, under the bus is the right move in terms of like, nobody gets in trouble. <laughs> but I also feel like ethically she'll be mad at me and that's not the right thing to do. But it's also the truth and that's the other part of it. Ethically speaking. I don't know. Yeah, Marl did it. It was her. It was Marl. I don't know if that was a bad idea. Are you sure? We have witnesses who will say you were the one that bumped into the princess. Oh, was that the question? Oh. Okay. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I like that it showed that, but... That was... I don't... Hey, wait a second. So does that mean it, like took a, it like actually recorded that event. Uh, the princess then innocently followed you to Luca's little sideshow, whereupon you both disappeared. If that wasn't criminal abduction, I don't know what is. All right, well, flop open your lawyer books, guy, because that was, um, not, I would not call that abduction. Two people running into each other, then going to a thing where something weird happens, not abduction. And I have facts that throw the defendant's character into question. Do you? Objection! This can't have any relevance whatsoever to this case. Care? Whoa, what was that? I think I heard like a gunshot. That was really scary. All right, it was just fireworks. <laughs> Somebody is lighting fireworks for some reason on uh, August 25th. I don't know why, but this is the world we live in. But I am going to end this episode because it's long, and I don't know how much longer this courtroom drama is going to last, so... Thank you for watching. Tune in in two days for more exciting Corona Trigger Adventures. Or Corona Trigger Ventures, as I say. Uh, I don't like that. I'm not going to say that anymore. But thanks for watching. I will see you again. I hope to anyway. Bye, everyone.